I see you staring at my pearlers. Back off. These are mine. It's time for some pickups. <laughs> What's going on everybody? This is your boy the Fluffy Gamer and it's time for some more pickups. Time to show you what I got for the week. It was kind of a slow week. I didn't get that many games but I got a couple pretty decent games this week uh, and at some pretty good prices I think. Uh, but first off let me show these uh, little perler thingies that I got from uh, Jason Lindsay. Uh, he sent these in the mail to me and uh, these are actually pretty damn cool. So they're going to be sitting on my shelf watching out my video games. Make sure nobody steals them. But I got a Link right there. Pretty cool Link. And then I uh, got Super Mario in the raccoon outfit from uh, Super Mario Bros. 3. And then uh, this one. This one's my favorite. Love me some Mega Man. Pretty sweet right there, right? Who doesn't love Mega Man? You don't love Mega Man? Something wrong with you. But yeah, Jason, that was really cool to you to send that to me. Um, if anybody hasn't seen, goes there. I'm gonna leave a link uh, in the description below for you guys to check out Jason's uh, Facebook page. He's got a good page over there where he actually, uh, you know, posts pictures of all the different perlers that he makes, and he even sells them. So if there's anything that you see that you like, hit him up, and they'll gladly send them your way. I definitely appreciate getting these, especially. Gratis. Uh, but let me show you what I got over at the Kobe Swap Meet this week. Uh, the first game that I picked up is actually a doozy. Awesome game. Awesome game. Uh, big fan of Zelda, so I had to pick this up. Don't have it, but I do now. And that is Zelda, The Link to the Past. Four Swords, I guess, is apparently an extra game that they put in there. Kind of a short game, but... Um, Definitely looking forward to checking that out. Next thing that I picked up, well, it's only, it was only three bucks, but I saw it. It was clean, and I had to pick it up. I don't have the system, so I'm most likely end up uh, donating this to Leo so he can make some money off of it. Won't make much, but I'll make a couple bucks off of it. Uh, for three bucks, I picked up Grand Theft Auto 4 for the Xbox 360. Definitely a, a good pickup there. Uh, this one right here, uh, N64 game, is also a great pickup. I used to have this in my collection before, but I ended up hooking up a friend of mine who really wanted to have the game. So I gave it to him for, you know, what, what the value was. Um, and that was, this was like almost a year ago. I've been looking for a replacement for almost a year on this title. And I just now found one. And it was definitely a pretty good price. Uh, for five bucks, I picked up Pokemon Stadium. Pokemon is coming out! Oh, it's Ryder! Ride that sir! Boom! Gotta catch him all! I cannot believe Pokemon Stadium 2, which I have back here. That's worth 30 bucks these days. When I when I got my copy, I believe it was worth like $15. So this doubled in price in over a year. That's that's all I got from uh, from the from the vendors out there. Um, I did pick up two items from Leo. Big fan of this video game series, and this was actually an action figure of my favorite character, my go-to guy. Anytime I played it, I always picked this guy, and that was Ken. Oh, and I saw that, can... had to get it, find somewhere nice to set it up there. Um, but I did get one more thing from Leo, and uh, this is actually a pretty rare title for a PS1 game. And if you've ever heard of this game, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what it's about. If is it a good game? Um, it's definitely a pricey game. And uh, but Leo hooked me up. I only paid 40 bucks for it, and this thing goes for about 55 to 60 bucks depending on condition. Uh, but that is the Adventures of Lomax. <laughs> Love platformers. Love PlayStation 1 games. So I had to get it, you know. Um, and I was actually surprised that Leo hooked me up for 40 bucks because um, he could have easily got 55 to 60 bucks for that game. But I definitely appreciate that. That's all that I found over at the Kobe Swap Meet this week. But I did head on over to the Book Off store and I picked up five more games. And there was a lot of games over there that were only a buck. When you see games for a dollar, it's very hard to pass up. So 
I picked up a couple PS1 games like this one, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 3. What are you doing? You're busted! You've got no place on the road! I'm pretty sure I have this game already, but I'll definitely put this up on eBay, make a couple bucks off of that. Uh, the next one I picked up, um, I know one of my buddies is a big fan of this series, Leo. You're out of the closet. We know you're a Barbie fan. Barbie, you're a 94. Vacation mm -hmm. adventure. Barbie. So I thought of you when I picked this game up, um, but that is Barbie Super Sports. Did it. All right. Got some snow skiing, some surfing, some rollerblading going on over there. Um, but for a buck, I couldn't pass it up. I got a pretty huge PlayStation 1 collection. In fact, I think I got about anywhere from 250 to almost 300 PlayStation 1 games already. And um, it's growing pretty nicely. The good thing about these is they don't take up much space. Uh, but this one I also got for a dollar. Never heard of it before, but the cover looked really cool. Looks like a puzzle type game. Um, it's called Spin Jam. Yeah. Um, but I also picked up a couple PlayStation 2 games while I was over there. Again, only paid a buck for this one. I don't know if this is based off a TV show or a movie. Probably a movie. It's from uh, director James Cameron. Um, but it's called Dark Angel. <laughs> And I believe that's Jessica Bill on the cover. You know, I'm pretty sure I don't have this one. And it's a clean copy, so I picked it up for a dollar. Uh, the last thing that I picked up, um, I paid 20 bucks for it, but I do think that it was definitely worth it because it actually goes for about 30 bucks online. I've been looking for a copy of this on the cheap. I have the other game to the series, and I see it all the time everywhere I go. And that one is actually worth 20 bucks, and that's Champions of Noroth. Uh, which I have already, and I've actually found several copies and sold them for 20 bucks. Uh, but when I saw this one, and they were only asking 20, which they obviously didn't price it right, so I've been I, I had to get it uh, for 20 bucks. I picked up Champions Return to Arms. <laughs> Pretty good deal, I think. But yeah, that's all I found over at the Book Off store. I love the Book Off store because you never know what you're going to find. And there's always new stuff there every week. So if you live in the San Diego area, definitely head on over to the local Book Off store. If you love looking for games on a cheap, movies, music, books, they got everything over there. But anyways, I'm the Fluffy Gamer, and that's going to do it for this week's pickups. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Bye bye bye. What you what you want? What you what you want? Barbie, you're a 94. Vacation adventure. Barbie! Vacation adventure. <laughs> yes, rock on.